this is the first video of several videos of the skull. So I'm going to show you the external features, uh, name the bones and name the sutures. So this is the frontal view of the skull. Uh, this is the frontal bone. And of course, this is a plastic skull. So um, some things are gonna be more uh, accentuated. Frontal bone, these are the bony orbits that are made up of several bones, um, including the maxillary bone and the zygomatic bone and the frontal bone and lacrimal and ethmoid uh, and sphenoid and palatine. Uh, this is the nasal bone here. These are the zygomatic bones that I just stated that, are, that can be part of the uh, bony orbits as well. This is the maxilla or the maxillary bone. This is the mandible. And I'm going to also note some of the features that you can see from this view. So if you look, this opening here, and there's one here, that is the superior orbital fissure. And then on the bottom is the inferior orbital fissure. My got stuck. Um, in the nasal cavity, um, the nasal septum is made up of two bones. Inferiorly, it is made up of the vomer, which is an independent bone. And then the vomer actually articulates with the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. Um, some of the openings that we can see also from the frontal view, this is the infraorbital foramen. These are the mental foramina on the mandible. And there's also a supraorbital foramen or notch, but sometimes um, it's hard to see them, but there is a supraorbital foramen or notch. All of these openings, canals, fissures actually transmit some sort of uh, cranial nerve. So let's turn the skull to the side. Uh, on the side view, you can see the condyle of the mandible, condyle of the mandible. This is the coronoid process, condyle and coronoid. Uh, this is the ramus of the mandible, the angle and the body. Um, this is the temporal bone. So temporal bone has many features, but this is the squamous portion and this is the external surface of the, uh, the uh, temporal bone. It articulates with the zygomatic bone at the zygomatic arch. So this is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and this is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. Um, this bony protuberance is the mastoid process. And then this one here that's actually kind of sharp, that is the styloid process. So both styloid process and the mastoid process are parts of the temporal bone. Um, this is the external occipital protuberance. Then in the posterior side, um, these are the parietal bones, and this is the single occipital bone. Here's the lambdoid suture, and from the superior view, you can see the coronal suture that articulates the frontal bone with the two paired parietal bones, and this is the single midline sagittal suture. And then of course there are other sutures that um, join these other bones uh, together and, but those are the main uh, sutures. Uh, this is the terion, which several bones come together. And the terion in the real skull is actually uh, thin and can get fractured. And on the inside of the terion, it's spelled P-T-E-R-I-O-N. On the inside of the terion runs the uh, middle meningeal uh, artery. This bone here is the sphenoid bone. So of all of these bones, I would say the sphenoid bone and the temporal bone has 
they have many features that I will discuss in a second video.